Hello friends from Real Gang Theories here and welcome back to another Reddit leak video. Now I know I said the last one would be the last one, but at this point you should realise that I'm definitely lying about that. But before we get into today's leak, if you could just do me a teeny tiny little favour, click that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 10k by the end of the year and I honestly believe that with your support, we can make it happen. Thanks so much for listening to this message and let's get into the Reddit post. Don't know how legit this is, but I have a distant relative who works at the BBC. Don't we all? specifically on Doctor Who, who has given me some shocking information on the future of Doctor Who. I like how it says shocking in capitals, just in case you couldn't tell. Starting off with series 13, every episode will be 60 minutes long, two parters, except for the specials which will be feature length with a bigger budget than the rest of the episodes, meaning that the rest of the episodes may suffer from a slightly lower budget. Now this could explain why the majority of the episodes that we've seen filming so far are being set on Earth, it's because they got a lower budget. The opening Sontaran 2 part will reveal the Sontarans were a part of every major human conflict in history, sort of like the monks in series 10. They revealed they were there for the start. This episode will also see the introduction of new companion Dan, played by John Bishop, who will be shown to not believe that depression and other mental illnesses are a real thing. As a result, he belittles Yaz, telling her to get a grip. The Sontarans will act as a metaphor for Dan's opinion as they are a clone race who all think the same. So this is picking up on that idea from Can You Hear Me? And they're basically going to use Dan as a vehicle to explore Yaz's depression and how some people respond to it. However, the Doctor will scold him and the Sontarans, scolding them by giving them a speech into camera like Orphan 55, about how important mental health is, with a self-help number shown at the end of the credits. So sort of like Coronation Street then. Episode 3 will act as a sequel to Series 12's Praxius, however this time featuring the Autons, which were referenced in said episode, who used the plastic remains from that episode to create a new home for the nesting consciousness. With the Autons spreading throughout England, this is why they were name dropped on the side of a bus, ah, that explains that image, as returning character Jack Robertson will be attempting to use them as a more advanced shop window dummy that moves around in order to best advertise clothes, hence why they are being marketed to the public. However, Jack's plans are once again foiled by the Doctor and Fam, including returning characters from Praxia's Gabriella Kamara, Jake Willis, and Adam Lang, so the vlogger and the couple, who use their increased knowledge of plastic pollution in order to defeat the nesting consciousness by creating a new form of anti-plastic. First seed in the episode rose. One thing another reader has gotten right is that the Zygons will return and attempt to infiltrate the government while attempting to implement a more conservative agenda. The finale will attempt to reveal more of the context behind the Timeless Child reveal with Omega, Rassilon, and Tectayune all returning, and the Doctor fighting off the old Time Lords alongside her fam, as well as Captain Jack, who will sacrifice himself one last time, but this time he won't come back to life, erasing the face of Bo from the timeline, as Captain Jack never becomes the face of Bo. Oh wow, they really are just killing off Captain Jack straight away, I mean damn. That shoots down any ideas of a Torchwood arrival then. This will cause a time fracture, the same thing that causes the Time Lord Victorious event, causing a ripple effect that erases all past Doctors, which will be a cliffhanger leading into the 60th anniversary. The 60th anniversary will explore the effects of the finale, revealing that only one Doctor aside from 13 has survived the time fracture. Oh my god, they, they literally are erasing all the, all the Doctors from history, this is outrageous. And that Doctor is the 10th Doctor played by David Tennant, of course it is, of course it is. As he was the one most heavily involved in the Time Lord Victorious event, I mean it makes sense, but also why is it only gonna be 10? The special also reveals that Earth is Gallifrey 2.0 with the Time Lords creating it as a contingency plan if Gallifrey ever truly fell. This would canonise the idea of the Doctor being half human, an idea first introduced in the Doctor Who DB movie. Is Chibnall just hell-bent on canonising all the little parts of Doctor Who that we hate? In order to trick time into restoring itself, the Doctor fakes her regeneration as in order to seal the fracture, regeneration energy needs to be passed through it. This will be a combination between the 11th Doctor faking his regeneration in the Series 6 opener and regeneration being given to the Doctor through the cracks in time. However, the Doctor only manages to restore the Timeless Child incarnations as well as the incarnations post tenant Damn, they really are just wiping out all the classic Doctors. This is a disgrace. With Chibnall likely explaining this to fans by saying that the original Doctors are either too old or dead, so fuck them, lol. And Eccleston is too much of a bitch to come back. So get over it, virgins. It's my show now, and I'll do whatever I fucking want. Or something of that nature. It is probable that shortly after this controversy, that Chibnall will be thrown out of the BBC offices and replaced by the vastly superior Tim Price, creator of the beloved alien The Pating, first seen in fan-favourite episode The Saranga Conundrum. However, Jodie and Mandit will stay on till Series 16 just to spite the fans, and the TARDIS will be redesigned into a penis to accommodate the Not My Doctors. So yeah, here's all I know about the future of the shit show known as Doctor Who. I was going to send it to Noel's own, however he broke his Chromebook in a fit of rage when reading this. <laughs>
てどれだけ強いを避けてもゆがめない思い出がバカな Happy April Fools!